Uh, before we get started, I do want to introduce you a, a brother from the Gideons International. Brother Art, would you come and, and uh, give us a presentation real quick? Praise God. Happy to be here. Fine, I'm going home. I'm loud. <laughs> and I'm up here, I know I'm loud. That's what a, that's what a woman told her boyfriend in the Central African Republic. Now why would she say something like that? Now this is a boyfriend, and this man was married. It all started when he found out he had a business trip to go on. And he had a tough decision to make. Take his girlfriend, take his wife. He took the girlfriend. So they got unpacked. She was putting clothes away in the hotel room at his destination. He sat down while she was unpacking and saw a blue book on top of a table, opened it, started reading it, and you probably can guess the rest of the story. Whatever he read, and I don't know what he read, it convicted him. And he said, we can't be here like this. This is wrong. And she said, <laughs> fine, I'm going home. Packed up her stuff, got into a taxi and left. But that's not the end of the story. That man went ahead and came to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And he had to stay there for his business meeting for three days. He went ahead and made a decision for Christ. Went home, found the pastor of a local church and said, can you tell me more? about how I should live my life with this man named Jesus. Now that man is a Gideon and a pastor and leading his family in the Lord. Praise God. These are hotel Bibles. They last about six years. Most people know that's what he is Gideons do. Come in contact with basically 2,300 people. Then when they get all tore up, we take off the hard covers and put on the soft cover and give them to the prisoners for Valley Restart here in the Valley. In the last two years, approximately 11,000 little scriptures like this have been given out to the school children here in Hemet. We have little green ones for the college campus here. There are approximately 300,000 Christian businessmen and their wives we call ourselves Gideons, the world over. Now you know there's how many billion people on the planet now? And our purpose is to get the word of God out to every man, woman, boy, and girl. So you can come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. A little testimony here at Hemet High School. About three or four years now. We were out there, it takes us about 20 minutes to hand out those little scriptures to the children as they walk by, or the young adults. I said, would you like a free copy of the Word of God? And they're rushing by you. Yes. No, no, yes. To some it's a joke. To some it's very serious. I say, this is God's love letter to you. He only made one of you, you're special. There's helps in the front, and we show them those. There's a decision-making process in the back. Part of it is a Romans road, and they can go ahead and sign it as evidence that they've made a decision for Christ. This young man said no, and he kept going. He said no, he got into his truck, rolled down the windows. It was a hot day, and he was stuck at the red light right there in front of him at high school. A car full of his classmates came up. One of them who had taken a Bible threw it away through his window. It hit his seat and bounced on the floor. Three days later, he cleaned his truck out and found it. Now Isaiah 55, 11 says, My word will not return unto me void. It will accomplish that whereunto I send it. That's what happened. That young man started reading that little scripture, gave his life to the Lord, and when we offered him a scripture the next year, he said, I have a scripture to tell you. <laughs> and he's now fellowshipping with his family in the local church. The power of God's word. The faithfulness of you to support us. These aren't free. They're not real expensive. But that money comes from somewhere. We hand them out for free. But they do cost. 
dollar twenty-seven and a half cents, down from a dollar thirty-four three years ago. We're businessmen. We run a tight ship. Every penny you give us is accounted for. There's administrative costs, right? Those come from our dues every year. What we pay the Gideon organization, the forty now sixty dollars a year, covers the administrative costs. So when I stand here in front of your congregation and I give you the opportunity to support us, not in prayer, not just in prayer, but also financially, I can stand before you and in all honesty say, every penny is accounted for to making these and getting them placed. Yeah. Amen. Now, I'm going to keep this real short, I promise you. So I don't have a whole lot more to say other than this. God loves us and He loves those in this world. He's given us the opportunity to reach them and this is just one way. This is just one small part of this church's missionary arm and we thank you for the support you give us. We have the bulletin inserts which you can fill out. We have cards in the display that you can fill out and place cards in memory or in recognition of those that are in your family or that you want to recognize, you can have Bibles placed that way. Pastor Rick, thank you for the time.